What's up, everybody? It's your boy DB back again. We about to do this again. That's right. As long as the good shit's coming in, DB is going to review it, right? I know a lot of people are saying, DB, go away. You said you was going to be done with this shit. <clears throat> Wrong answer. I say when I'm done with it, right? <laughs> so today we are going to talk about a house I've got no love for hardly at all. They make fragrances way out of what I like, but I like this one. You want to know what it is? Man, of course you want to know what it is. That's why you came here. It's your boy DB. About to take you behind the nonsense. So, so my camera's going to get stupid, but just stick with me. We're going to make sure it comes right back into focus to this beautiful face, okay? We are talking today about... Roja Dove Apex. Now, of course, as always, I got this from Fat Boy. I will put a link to his store down at the bottom. Please, if you want any of this stuff you see here, go check Fat Boy out. Once again, we do a little swap. I send him something, he sends me something. I only get them in this big, but his shit costs more than mine does. So let's get on with it. Um, this comes from the house of Roja Dove. Now, I'm going to tell you, there are not very many fragrances from the House of Rosia that I like at all. They are way outside this man's boundaries. I like really masculine, manly scents. I'm more into the, the uh, wintry type fragrances, but these guys here make fragrances like Oceania. They are way out there. I can't, I can't do it. They're, they're, they're definitely way out there. Some of their bottles are $3,000 a bottle. Nah, we ain't doing that. So, anyway... I wore this, uh, by the way, this is not really quite a summer scent. Um, I smelled it, and I think I've been having some sinus issues. So the other day when I wore it and I smelled it, I was kind of like, ah, it doesn't seem too dark. And then when I sprayed it, I realized, damn, I sprayed too much. So if you are going to wear this in the summertime, tone it down just a little bit because it is powerful. I don't know the notes, of course, but... I get I get like an incense type oody vibe from it. Um, I don't know if it's just my nose is kind of off leatherish. Don't take it the wrong way, but pleatherish if that makes sense. The fake leather, but <clears throat> it's not bad. I really like the fragrance. It really does its thing. It was pretty powerful. Lasted on me easily nine hours. I love this fragrance. Unfortunately, like everything else, it's too damn expensive for me to own. So in about six months when they come out with the oils, I'll be putting this on my list. You can guarantee it. So um, I give this a 8.5 out of 10. I, I think if it was winter time, it'd probably be more like a 9 out of 10 because I think that's where it belongs. Probably one of the few fragrances from Roja that I absolutely love. Um, there are not many, like I said. So uh, thank you, Fat Boy, for sending me this. Um, you know, I always like to do the trades. I get the newer fragrances so I can try them, see if there's some ones I can look forward to in the future to get in an oil form. Um, and man, it's just really good shit. I will put the notes up here. Man, I keep forgetting the notes. I'll put them up here so you guys know what the notes are, okay? So you guys don't have to look them up. I'll do the research for you. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway, um, also want to make an announcement. Uh, I will be um, launching another fragrance, another OG fragrance called The Last Icon. Uh, it will be available possibly at the end of this month, but definitely first week of August. Um, you guys, you know I know I make unique scents. So if you're into my unique OGs, you're not going to want to miss this one. You're definitely going to want to get this one. Cream Bean Island is selling. I'm almost sold out. And um, I couldn't be happier. I am not going to vault Cream Bean Island just yet. Um, I don't know if I'll do it at all. It's probably been, uh, it's actually outdone Southern Sunset, believe it or not. Um, and the sales from that are phenomenal. People have gotten, given great reviews off of it. So if you don't have it, I would suggest you get it now. Before I do run out of oils and put it on a pause, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. It'll probably be a good month, two months before I get it, all the oils back in. So, hey, 
thanks again for coming by, checking out what I've got to say. I appreciate all of you who come by. This is your boy DB, and I just took you beyond the nonsense. Have a good day.